All right, everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Want to talk about some very in the weeds legislative work on what's going on with mask mandates and public transportation. So to, to rewind the clock just a little bit, uh, we had the courts come out there and say, no more mask mandates in public transportation. Yay, I applauded. I'm very happy that that occurred. Want all Americans to have the choice on whether they want to wear a mask or don't want to wear a mask in public transportation or anywhere else. Just a little while before that, that court decision came out, I have been moving a piece of legislation that received about 130, 129 co-sponsors on that legislation to actually remove mask mandates in law. Now, when the courts came out and did this, it obviously pushed the need for that piece of legislation off to the side, not a need for it if the courts were making a determination on this uh, as they did. Now, what happened since then, or really immediately afterwards, was the White House came out and said they were going to work to undo that. Let me play a quick video of Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Saki from the White House talking about this. Well, we obviously didn't expect the decision because uh, we wouldn't have known in advance how a court would act. Um, so, uh, and we disagreed with the decision immediately. So. Right, so that's Jennifer Saki talking about they disagreed with allowing Americans to have the choice to wear a mask or not wear a mask. And so they're going to appeal that. So it takes that legislation that we were working on and brings it back to the forefront. So here's the in the weeds part of the process of legislation. What we do now is we have something that we call a discharge petition. And what that discharge petition is, is a petition to bring that piece of legislation in a mandatory vote, right? Right now, Speaker Pelosi, she doesn't have to bring anything to the floor for a vote that she has no desire to bring to the floor for a vote. She wants mask mandates, so she doesn't wanna see that bill come to a vote. If on that discharge petition, we get 218 signatures of people saying yes, we want to have a vote on this piece of legislation, then it takes that power out of the hands of Speaker Pelosi and mandates that that, that piece of legislation come to the floor of the House for a vote immediately, and that is what we're working on right now. So that's how that piece of legislation that we were working on before the court said no more need for masks, it got pushed to the side. Now that the White House is trying to bring masks back to everybody in transportation, uh, that piece of legislation is coming back about. We're moving it in form of a discharge petition that hopefully we can get 218 signatures to mandate that Speaker Pelosi have to have a vote on this. And uh, then we can actually put this issue to rest for good forever that there will henceforth and forever no longer be a requirement that you wear a mask on an aircraft or in public transportation. That's a little bit about what's going on in the legislative process today. I hope you all are doing well. I wish you all the best. Look forward to seeing you all around. You all take care.